Hey, this is Brian Tarion from the Disability Digest here. In this video, I'm going to cover the top eight things that you do not want to do if you want to get everything out of your Social Security Disability Benefits and if you want to get approved fast. Not a comprehensive list, but it is the top ones that I've seen so far in 2022. I'm doing this video because hopefully this will help you avoid some of the common pitfalls that people make and with inflation as it is, it's difficult for people to make ends meet and this will help you hopefully squeeze a few extra dollars out of your check. So I'm gonna go in reverse order. So hang out to the end to get the tip. So here at the Disability Digest, these videos are for you to help you get, keep, and maximize your disability benefits. So if you like the work that we do, subscribe, ring the bell, Join us or update your membership so we can give you a customized approach to getting, keeping, and maximizing your benefits. So here we go. The first thing is, for those of you that have not applied and you're still working or somebody that you know of, the biggest colossal problem that I see is people do not have a plan in place in the event that they need to apply for disability. They stop work. It's nine months to get your disability decision uh, at the initial, initial application, that's what we're seeing right now. Uh, industry average is 32% chance of getting approved there, and if it's not approved there, it's probably gonna be close to three years. To survive that wait, get short-term, long-term disability insurance. If you're under 50, you can get it very inexpensively without a medical exam. And that can allow you to keep your house, keep your cars, keep your kids in school, and clothes on their back, food on the table, all that stuff. So. That's one of them. I probably should have put that higher up the list, but I didn't. Uh, people uh, lose benefits or they have a hard time getting them if they are drug seeking and taking like medication that they're not prescribed or using uh, even marijuana and it's not prescribed. So be careful of that. Next one is bad advice. I see this all the time. We even experienced it, unfortunately, on comments on our YouTube channel where people will answer questions. They're well-intended, uh, but they're not correct. And that could be, um, you know, common one is how much money can you make and apply for your disability benefits? Or how much money can you make and keep your disability benefits? If you want to have some fun, go put a comment out there in some group and see what you get for responses keep you entertained for a while. Um, and then the next one is earning more. So you get that bad advice, you go out and you're making money, and like somebody told me I could earn X amount of dollars and apply for disability, and you're working on, on the wrong number. Or common one is uh, people are approved for disability, they get the wrong number, and they're earning over the allowed amount. So be careful of what your earnings levels are. Totally fine to work. Just and my point is do it within the rules and the guidelines and understand what they are. Okay. Um, next one is not doctoring. For disability approval and keeping your benefits, the general premise for a case is you have conditions that are diagnosed, they're being treated by a doctor, and despite the treatment, you have limitations that you're not able to do any job or do the work that you have in the past. So if you're not doctoring, make an attempt to doctor, especially for those of you that are approved and you kind of have this set it and forget it, I'm approved, yay. It's a big problem because 20% of disability recipients are being reviewed now um, annually and about 55,000 people will lose their benefits in the next year. So if you're not going to the doctors and you're pulled for a review, that can be a problem. See it all the time. Uh, next one is not filing for your social security disability benefits before they expire. Yes, folks, your disability benefits do expire. It's typically about five years after you stop working. Um, and you're not able to get them back unless you return to work. And, and earn money, pay taxes. Second part of that is people work and don't pay taxes. It's the same thing. It, it's, it's awful. Uh, Social Security is a great program. It's a safety net for people. Um, and if you are not able to work or only able to work a little bit part-time, 
you really should evaluate your options um, and pursue your benefits. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I think the 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 second to the to the to the last one is the set it and forget it mentality. Uh, people have these benefits that they're receiving. Uh, that's one instance. Or the other instance is somebody's trying to get approved and they hire an attorney and they figure that everything is just on autopilot. Um, I'm going to stay on that one for a minute. And the challenge with that is, one, most people don't typically know what needs to be done to get approved. So they hire somebody. Makes sense, right? But if you don't know what needs to be done and you hire somebody and they're not doing it, how do you know? So here at the Disability Digest, with your membership, which is no cost, you have access to a disability approval course, which is at no cost, designed to help you go through the process, either on your own or to manage your attorney. Use those steps, make sure that all the evidence is in place, they are doing what they need to do to get you approved. That's what. The other side of it is, for those of you that are approved, uh, <clears throat> happens all the time. People paying for things that they shouldn't be paying for. One common one is people are paying for their Part B Medicare premium, $170.10. Two ways to get around that. One is states offer an extra help program. Some people qualify. The other one is Medicare Advantage plans offer a buyback where they pay you back. So if you can eliminate that, that's uh, $2,041.30 a year. Boom. Done. Uh, so, and there's other ways to, like even with a Part B buyback, you don't get the whole thing eliminated, but it's common that you can pick up $1,600 a year. So those are just a few ways. Oftentimes people are still paying for full retail for their cell phone, for their internet. Um, they have medications that are expensive and they haven't learned how to use prior authorizations or to get them from different pharmacies that they could to reduce those expenses. So review your benefits, understand your options, understand what you're paying for, what you're entitled to, really needs to be done on an annual basis because of the changing landscape. That's what we do with these videos. If you're a member at the Disability Digest, we offer a benefit review, no charge. We review what you have, what you're entitled to, show you what it is, and you can choose to take advantage of the options or not. The very, very, very last one in the top one, number one, number uno, is understanding what you need to prove to get your benefits and keep your benefits. This might sound just silly, but even people that are approved, when you ask them, like, please explain in two sentences or less why you cannot work, their, exp their explanation is not in line with what needs to be demonstrated um, so that you still qualify or you can get approved. So I encourage you to follow our information about how to communicate with your doctors, what you want to get into your medical records, um, and those notes and how you want to take those and kind of, you, you want to have locked and loaded your own like two sentence explanation of why you qualify for disability benefits not talking about life-changing um, investment of time here, but it's just good disability insurance if you want to get your benefits and you want to keep your benefits. So those are the top ones for now. If you've got other comments or other insights that maybe I missed and I should add, join us in the comments wherever you see this video and stay tuned for more here. Remember, if you like the work we do, share it, subscribe, ring the bell. Join us as a member, update your membership. We'd love to help you out. Make it a great day. Brian from the Disability Digest.